One thing that I want to do first is we're going to test out something very interesting. Are we drafting today? Yep. You know, that's what we do all the time. Uh, it doesn't really matter what I play, I guess. Sure. I'll grab, like, one of these. We'll play a draft deck. Legendary Cube is all about overkill. I mean, sure. You don't generally need to show your opponent when you have them dead on board immediately. You don't need to be an ass about it. Which is kind of what was happening. Alright, so what we're going to do is... Walking Sponge here was kind enough to put together a Milliken deck. So he's going to play Milliken with Eldrazi. Milliken is currently bugged so that the creatures that you... Like, the creatures... Anything that you mill off the top of your deck can sometimes go into your opponent's graveyard. So something that we wanted to test out is what happens then if you use, um, like, Eldrazi. What happens if he cycles an Eldrazi, in, if he mills an Eldrazi from his deck into my graveyard? <gasps> Yay, chocolates. Because um, that, like, it's just nonsense, right? It shouldn't happen, but I want to know. We've got to figure it out. So this should be very, very strange. I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen. He made a deck that's just got a lot of card draw so that he can get to it faster. All right, so he milled Moment's Peace into our graveyard. Or is that in his deck, even? Is that even in your deck? Okay, it is. I don't... No, I can't. No, I can't flash back his Moment's Peace from my graveyard. It's not lighting up, as if I could. Put in flashback stuff to see if we can cast it. That's actually a really cool idea, too. Let's Break Moto is your favorite format. I think it's pretty good. I like the Break Moto one. He can't. He also cannot flashback his own Moment's Peace. Perfect. Moto working properly, as, as foretold. Alright, get another Milliken. We need to get multiple Millikens down here so we can get an Eldrazi into our graveyard. I really want to see if it'll shuffle everything back. And then if I get the cards that are in my graveyard, that are his, into our my deck. Narc Amoeba did not trigger. Nope. I'm going to guess that Emrakul won't trigger then. There we go. The effect went on the stack. All right. But then it shoveled his graveyard. Yes. That's so good. No, the cards that are in my graveyard are not in my deck. They're from his deck. But the Emrakul is still in my graveyard. Aces. All right. Well, there we go. All right, let's see how deep we can go with Milliken here, then. Let's go format, freeform, grab our deck. He's going to load a billion decks. It's a little easier for me to see this way, though, I think. Uh, breaking Moto. All right, cool. Okay, perfect. There we go. Now I put Mark Narc Amoeba into our graveyard. Yep. So, can we eventually recollect or unburial rights his Narc Amoeba? That's the next question. I don't want an elixir yet. I'll test that later. We unfixed it. Yay! Somehow bugs only show up sometimes. Apparently, yeah. Icarid. Nice. Just getting all the graveyard shenanigans. Seeing what we can do. It does look like I need to have something in my graveyard before the first Milliken activation. And maybe even before he has any cards in his graveyard. Okay, so can we unburial right Snark Amoeba? We can. We can it, But it goes to his side! Yes! <laughs> Woo! Okay. Um... That's a thing. 
That that works great. There you go. <laughs> he gets the Dark Amoeba. Uh, all right. Hopefully he gets another creature. We can try and Grave Digger it back. I can try and recollect something that he puts into my graveyard too. <laughs> so it works correctly? No, that's not correctly. I shouldn't be able to target it at all. I don't know. I get a kick out of this stuff. I don't know if you guys do, but I think it's hilarious. I'll go back to playing uh, actual drafts in just a minute, but this is way too much fun. Like, seeing just how ridiculously broken Moto is under this circumstance is just hilarious to me. There we go. All right. Now, he's, now it's going back into our graveyard. So let's see if we can recollect the Flooded Strand into our hand. All right. So I recollect it, and I bet it goes to his hand. How much you want to bet? And... His hand, he got it. <laughs> Went into his hand. Great. What happens with Phage? Oh my god, Phage would be very strange. So if I use Elixir of Immortality, does that get shuffled into my deck, or does it get shuffled into his deck? I'm guessing his. It seems like that's the thing, is it still goes into his deck. So 38 cards... Oh crap, I screwed that up. He went from... Ah, oh, I missed it. I guess we'll know if we find the island. It's kind of dumb of me. His deck size didn't increase. I didn't think so, because he went 48 to 47, right? So it might be in our deck. We just need another creature. We're going to try and Gravedigger back Emrakul, yeah. Alright, so Emrakul hits... It's going to shuffle his graveyard back in, but not mine, and leave the Emrakul in my graveyard. Because why not, right? So this time we'll try and see if we can't Gravedigger it. So now if we Gravedigger... Oh, actually I'm kind of interested in Snapcaster. Can we Snapcast or Brainstorm? We can do both, actually. We can Snapcaster, try and cast his Brainstorm. So we can cast his Brainstorm now. The question is, does it do anything? <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Wait, I can't cast it! Oh, it won't let me play it. Alright, so I can target Brainstorm as if it's in my graveyard, but it won't actually let me cast it. Great, that's so amazing. <laughs> Does the Crucible Crucible World let me play lands that are his? I don't know. That's so amazing. Hey, Tribal. Okay. He can't cast the Brainstorm either. All right, that's a good question, though, if he could cast it. Uh, let's Gravedigger back the Emrakul and see if it goes into our hand or if it goes into his. I'm going to guess that it goes into his hand. So he's got seven cards. Does he go up to eight? Yep. Gravedigger brings it back into his hand. <laughs> and it goes into his hand. Great. Magic Online working as normal. Can I delve with them? That's another good question. All right. All right, we got Bloodgast into our graveyard. So now if I play a land, can I actually get Bloodgast? Or does it go into his uh, land? We did count my library and graveyard in Elixir before. I'll do it again. First, I want to see the blood gas. Nope, doesn't trigger blood gas. It does. So let's go corpse churn. I just want to see if we can find the island without like actually elixiring, because I want to see it actually in my deck. Yes. It won't let me. So it didn't actually let me even choose the blood gas that time. So Corpse Churn actually doesn't let me target the creatures that are... It doesn't let me target Narcabiba or Bloodgast. I can Gravedigger them back, and they go to his hand. I can Unburial Rites them back, and they go to his uh, battlefield. But I can't actually Corpse Churn it back. Awesome. There we go. We're learning all kinds of very interesting things about the way that Milliken is just totally fucked up. Bloodgast triggered when he played a land. Okay. Can you crack Flooded Strand and get it? Let's 
try. Like, try right now. See if it goes back into his battlefield. Nope. <laughs> Just stays in my graveyard. You hit yes, and it does nothing. Okay, so we have 19 cards and 15 left in our deck. Let's see if we just get them all. 35, you bet. We can just slowly steal his entire deck. Hey, Lupolo Loco. I still want to try and actually draw one of his cards into my hand, though. This is so ridiculous. Milliken is absolutely broken. So now Milliken's actually milling cards into his graveyard again. Oh, all right. I did get Enlightened Tutor. There we go. But I can't play it. Wait, I can't play his Enlightened Tutor. And I can't play the island either. I can draw the cards, but I can't play them. That's so great. Oh, man. What is this? This is a horrible, horrible bug. Yes, it's Milliken. Milliken mills cards from his deck into our graveyard. And we're seeing how much we can break it. And apparently the answer is a lot. <laughs> so we get the cards, but we can't play them. That's so ridiculous. It's so bad. Like, what the fuck is happening? Can I discard them? That's a good question. Yes, and they go to his graveyard. All right. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> oh, man. Have we tried this in the incarnations like Wonder? No, we haven't done... We've done a few things, but we haven't been able to get everything going yet. What was... Uh, oh, we wanted to know if we could delve them. All right, so I'm going to try and delve now. All right, let's treasure cruise. And we get to delve Milliken, and it goes to his exile zone. Awesome. All right, so that's one mystery solved, at least. Let's discard a mountain. See if maybe that'll let Milliken start milling into our graveyard again. Nope. Still into his. It seems like it's got something to do with uh, when we discard cards. Wait. All right, so now Milliken left. Did it go on the bottom of our library? Try again. Try the other Milliken. Use the other Milliken. Now it goes into his graveyard. What? <laughs> Why are we breaking Moto? We already know it's a buggy mess. Because it's hilarious. Milliken is in a temporary zone. Are we sure? I'll try and Diabolic Tutor up the Milliken. Let's see if it's in my deck. Yes, it moves to 10009. It tried to move. That's what it always says, though. So let's go Diabolic Tutor. Oh, it says in temporary zone now. Now it shows it up there. Wait, what? So we actually can't get it. So Wheel of Sun and Moon means that it doesn't go into our deck. It actually just keeps it removed forever. Interesting. So we can exile the cards into his. So we know now that we can, we can delve cards that he mills into ours. I can use Wheel of Sun and Moon, but then it just removes them forever. It is an actual limbo, yeah. This this time it's just gone. Filed for compensation. I still actually need to file for last night when we had the Milliken problem, which made us think of doing this in the first place. It is in the remove from remove from game zone. We're basically playing unglued at this moment. All right. I guess the last thing that we really want to do is try and get Anger or a Dredge card into our graveyard. So I need to concede because we need to get rid of Wheel of Sun and Moon. Oh, nice. We got Wonder. All right. Now we need to see if we can actually get a Hasted creature. Oh, wait. His guys get flying from the Wonder in our graveyard. We need to get a creature online to see if we get it. Okay. So let's go Diabolic Tutor. Get Snapcaster. Play the Snapcaster. And do we get flying? It appears like we don't. So yeah, our his guys get flying, ours don't. 
All right, all right, we got Phage. Here goes, guys. What happens? All right, Unveril writes Phage. It's happening. Oh my god, it's happening. All right. Phage it up. And... Don't brainstorm in response. Stop it. <laughs> Gotta find the answer. Fuck. <laughs> brainstorm, brainstorm. Is the homunculus from Innistrad bla block broke the same way? I don't know. He loses the game. Woo! We win. Yes. Magic as Richard Garfield intended.